before we get into this vlog, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, if you're regular viewers, you'll know that I didn't upload a, a vlog last week because there's been so much going on with a family member being in hospital and stuff. Um, and so I didn't want to kind of vlog. It didn't feel right to vlog. Sorry that I didn't put one up last week. It just wasn't the right time, but I did film some stuff. So I'm going to put that in in a second. Um, but that will be obviously a little bit behind the rest of the stuff that you're going to see, which I'm going to film this week. Today is Monday, the 6th, the 6th of March. So let's kick off the stuff I filmed that I didn't put up last week. Enjoy. Today is actually Friday. Um, as you guys know, I normally start the vlogs on Tuesdays, Wednesdays. Still lots and lots of personal stuff going on. So I'm, tr I'm doing this as a form of distraction, but also at the same time, there's a lot of personal things going on regarding that so it means that I can't always get my head stuck into work and I've basically this week not really done any work so far. Um, but today I have a couple of orders to pack so I thought I'd we could do that together. I've also just realised that we're in March as well so I need to print off March, March and April's ones of these. So in January I had 26 sales on website and Etsy and then in February I had uh, 19. Um, obviously it's a quiet time so I'm not going to stress too much about that at the moment but the first order I'm going to pack is for um, a Sweary Cats order so at the moment I'm not really pushing Sweary Cats too much but I do want to relaunch Sweary Cats this year um, and so the order is for one of these cards which is the most popular Sweary Cats card um, and if you can see what the candles say uh, yeah that's <laughs> that's um, one of the most popular ones that especially on Thoughtful, um, but I'd like to relaunch this because I, now we've got the printer, I want to be able to do a lot more with Sweary Cats. The thing is, because it was still a new side business, I was getting all these cards printed and not really selling them and not really pushing them too much, but I think I would like to. <laughs> so that is going to have to be something I get around to. And this is the little thank you card. Um, and then it just has already got some stuff on the back of it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sort that order out first. Before I do that though, I'm going to print out my new um, order, what are they called? Charts? I don't know, but I can't even think straight. Okay, let's do that. Good morning guys, today is Saturday, just made myself a little iced coffee. I'm feeling a little bit all over the shop today just because of the last couple of weeks. Today I just want to catch up a little bit, I've got some housework to do, I've got some bits and bobs to do, I really really want to get on top of my Pinterest but I think I'm trying not to give myself such a hard time about not doing a lot of stuff when I feel really emotionally invested in another sort of more personal situation. Um, it's just really hard to kind of find your feet with a routine and allow your thoughts to kind of like I want to there's so much I want to do but I can't get there in my head with my thoughts it's really it's like I'm kind of numb and I can't think about other things um so this morning I'm gonna try and do a little bit of artwork on the iPad because I want to I want to design more of these cards that I give out with um each order so the ones I use I've had these for so long um I just ordered way too many basically so I've got these two here that I give in orders, they're just postcards. Started designing one, I've got some sketches for another one or two so I thought perhaps we could do that together whilst I drink my coffee. I've got some other things I want to do, I've got an email for tomorrow to prep, um, 
I meant to send out an email earlier this week about my product of the month along with the discount. I've got some changes I need to make to my website before I do that. Oh man, I just, yeah. I mean, this week, my diary, it looks basically <laughs> from here onwards like nothing is really going on. Um, I've done some things around the house that needed doing just because they were pretty mindless tasks. Um, yesterday I sorted out underneath the bed, like hoovered it, put old clothes away that I didn't want out at the moment um, and took other ones out and put them in the wash, that sort of thing. But I haven't done a lot of the side of my diary that's like Leaf Lane Studio side. Um, so I need to do that. I think today I'm going to aim for a little bit of design work, my typing up my Sunday email and making one or two amendments to my website that I need to do. Next week my surface pattern design course starts, it's like the orientation week, I think that's what they call it. So that's really exciting, I haven't actually got myself illustrated yet which I need to do. I feel like, I feel really behind but I'm just trying not to be too hard on myself. This is, as you can see I'm in the middle of doing some stuff on here but this is one of the postcards. So what I was thinking I would do with some of them is not necessarily put any words on the front but just keep them kind of minimalistic and maybe release say four or five large flowers. What I did, let me just get rid of these and open this. I did these kind of rough sketches. Um, some of them have obviously, I, I don't want to put Leaf and Shooter on the front because I want people to be able to display them. Um, so this one says find joy in every day. This one says remember how amazing you are. Obviously this is the one I'm working on right now. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just trying to work out basically how I want to do the front of the card and I think I'm just, I was going to just do it like this, which I kind of like, but then I was thinking well, what do I need in the background because it looks too plain to me. So I just, yeah, I don't know, I'm a little bit stuck, a little bit stuck with it, but I basically want to do a few different cards that I can kind of alternate around as the year goes on. What I might do is I might just like shelve this one, I might just put this one into a group as like, I'll just name that one, rename yellow flower and then I will zoom in on another design so maybe, hmm, maybe this one, I kind of like this one and try and do something with that. guys obviously it's a bit confusing at the moment because you can still see the background lines that I've drawn but I'm aiming to sort of get the base colors down for this one and then I will see how I feel about everything else but I want these little postcards to be kind of cute and relatively straightforward not too detailed just really kind of simple Okay, so now we're back in the, the present week, Monday the 6th of March. Today, nothing's really changed in terms of um, all of the stuff of the reason I didn't vlog last week. That's all still going on and nothing's changed whatsoever, but I'm going to just try my best to do this this week because I really enjoy doing it and also it's a good distraction for me. I am going to do my best. The, today, it's, it's already half 11 now, um, so this morning I need to pack an Etsy order. I usually update you with my diary. My diary is looking decidedly empty this week because I haven't, because last week I didn't um, do much so it's all in here so I'm basically just going to flick back and forth and prioritise things into the week. Um, I'll use one of my planner pad pages as well where I pull stuff from my diary and have it in front of me on a sheet of paper so I'm not precious about it. But basically I've got some odds and ends to do, I really really need to organise my Pinterest board this week and 
The previous clips you saw that I did some stuff last week where I was drawing some thank you cards. I really hate that last thing that I drew, that little blue and white thing of flowers. I don't hate necessarily the flowers or the cup that I drew them in, but I hate all of the leaves and I want to simplify that. So I had to step back from it because of everything that's been going on. I've massively lost my art mojo or to be able to have the ability to have the patience to do the new things. So I am going to just not train today. I'm going to sort out this order, have a look at my Pinterest. On Pinterest, basically, up until recently, I had loads of boards, like hundreds of boards that were dedicated to weddings. And that's where all my viewership comes from, really, because people love pinning for weddings, but I don't do weddings anymore, really. Um, I think if I was approached to do something and it was the right project, I still would. But I don't do wedding invitations currently. Um, whether I'll go back to it, I don't know, because I do like doing them. I just can't do everything at once. Uh, so I've put all of my wedding boards as private now so they're not gone so if I ever decide to use them again I worked really hard on them so I can just put them all back up but I want to create some new boards around stationery and gifting and all those things create some pins and start to schedule some stuff and then also this week my orientation week for the surface design course I'm starting starts so the course proper starts next week um, but this week I should receive something in the post, which is like the workbook and a few other things. So I'll let you know when I get that. Okay, I'm gonna pack the Etsy order and then I am going to see what time it is after that and work out what I'm gonna do next. It's so dark today. I've had to put the brightness on my camera right up. Um, the Etsy order is only for a Proud of You card, which I'm gonna grab um, and then get that out. So um, I only put my cards into like a slightly bigger envelope. I don't have to do much with those, but my Proud of You cards still sell insanely well. Um, and I put, had to put the price up a little bit on cards because, and also, have we all heard that from the 1st of April, first class stamps are going up again? It's like one pound and something. These are all the little things that cripple small businesses and it's just really devastating. Okay, um, let me grab one of those cards. finally sorting out my Pinterest so what I've got at the moment I've got obviously because you're seeing this from behind the scenes point of view it's very messy what you would see if you were coming as a person who follows me on Pinterest would be different but basically I've put all of my wedding boards into this archived board section at the bottom so that's all of the archived wedding um, pins and whatevers and then up here I'm basically going to adapt these because at the moment I have things still on Pinterest that are older and I don't know whether I should leave them on there or not, but I'm going to get rid of the repeats because I used to use Tailwind. I have a lot of repeats, like some of this stationary stuff I, is so old. I just kind of I think it's like clogging things up and things like the friendship box I sold. That's obviously not around anymore because it was limited edition. So I'm going to just go through and get rid of those things. And just so you know, if you're looking to do this on Pinterest and you want to do it quickly, you go to organize and then you click in select or reorder you can just click on anything you don't want go through all of them delete the ones you don't want and delete and they're gone
is uh, Thursday today. It's about Hopper's tea. I've been just repotting sweet peas this morning. It's been very exciting. Um, but I'm just about to start packing some orders. I have about five or six to pack. I've made myself a massive list of stuff that needs to be done. So I've done a couple of things on there already, which is great. But right now I need to pack orders. Um, I just sort of quickly do an email, then I'm gonna pack orders and then I'm gonna tidy up this space. Gizmo doesn't know what she wants to do. She's there. Um, she had her vaccination yesterday, her little booster jab, and she's always a bit uncertain for a couple of days. Hopefully for the next few days we can work towards getting those thank you cards I wanted to do done. Um, at least one of them, one design printed out. I've also got a couple of other ideas for some little A7 cards. So basically I have a market planned for, I've got two dates at the Truro market, one is coming up in April, it's quite early at April. It's April the 7th and 8th, so Friday the 7th, Saturday the 8th, and it's the big Easter market. And then I have one a couple of weeks later, or a few weeks later in May. Um, actually, maybe it's more than a few weeks. It's about the 20th, something like that, which is like a May market on a Saturday, which will be really great fun. So I wanna have some kind of prints and some small cards and a couple of new bits to take. I'd also really like to create Oh, my phone is ringing. One minute. I'm back. That was my mum. <laughs> That's what I was saying. For the markets, I really like these lists here have been really, really popular. Sorry, they've got a jacket. A jacket? <laughs> they've got a cello on them, like a um, compostable cello. But these shopping list pads that I've been adding the magnets in, I've now only got this one and one other one left. So two left. Um, and I'd really like to do some more of those in a different pattern. Um, and also maybe I'd love to do some more post-it notes as well. I sold all of my post-it notes. I didn't know that they'd be so popular. So over the course of the next few days, I want to just have a little look at some of those things as well as everything else. But one thing, as I was on the phone to my mum just now, that I remembered that I haven't shown you guys yet. One second. Okay, you may remember that I told you I joined my surface pattern course. Um, and th the most gorgeous parcel arrived. I'm just going to try and dig it out for you. So I'm not up the it's now on the floor. Okay, thank god I don't work for QVC. The, look at this chunky monkey. This is the Emerging Course Manual. I'm not obviously going to show you it because this is this course is a hefty one um, and this is this lady's hard work. I started like the induction this week and it's all about gathering inspiration and it's really really cool. Um, and then this little box her artwork is just up my street. Um, this little box came with it as well. And inside here basically is all of the bits and bobs to introduce you to the course, but also every week, every module of the course has its own envelope. Um, and I've opened the first one because I've done the first module. Um, but the patterns, you know the patterns are gonna be good when you're doing a surface pattern course, right? But how up my street is that? How beautiful and they've all, they've just got a whole, range of the most beautiful envelopes i just i cannot wait to dive into those so yeah that's that very excited about that now i am going to just quickly tidy some space up because i need a bit of space and then i'm going to wrap some orders before i pack orders i've decided i'm just going to try and see if i can get one of my thank you cards printed because everyone who's ordered from me that I'm about to pack has ordered from me before. I just really want to send them a different card. <laughs> so I thought what I'd do, the background isn't the right colour, I can't do it, I'm trying not to get a reflection. I've got this giant kind of like flower, <laughs> this giant flower, and I really want to give it the same outline as you know the Mother's Day card, uh, that kind of like scalloped edge. So I might pop that into Photoshop and just see if I can make that work. I'm also just trying to see if there's any other things I've got on here that I could use. I mean, I have loads of stuff that I've drawn. I've got so many things that I've drawn that I could potentially turn into thank you cards or like, I like the idea of someone being able to put it on their notice boards or in their offices or whatever. So I've got like one like this. Hang on, if I point you down, that might be better. I've got all of these ones. I know this is like a bit of an autumn one, but you know, I could use it for autumn. That would be fine. I've got all of these ones here. You know, so, I mean, maybe, 
Maybe I just use these. I might send a load of them over to Photoshop and just print some out and see what I think. I changed the scalloped edge um, to the yellow, um, which I think looks quite pretty. I think I'm overthinking it. I put four, I've taken these down a little bit so they're smaller than a six, um, but it doesn't matter because they're just for thank you cards. And I've put behind each one the reverse. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just basically print it out these side for, I can do double sided printing. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this out and then I'm going to put the paper back in. Maybe I'll print out the reverse first. Maybe that'll make more sense. Shall I do that? Um, and then put the paper back in and then print out the other side. I'm just, this is just an experiment um, and we'll just see what happens and I hope for the best. So what I'm going to do though is work out, there we go, so that green came out quite Oh, it didn't print out the, huh. Oh, it hasn't actually saved it. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Okay, let me show you something. It hasn't printed out, it hasn't printed out on the reverse. Oh, it hasn't saved it there either. That's so weird. I had a si some symbols there that it's not printed out. Anyway, I'm gonna run this as an experiment and I'm gonna try just doing the other side to see what the colors look like and then I will make all of those changes. This is the mystery. You see, it didn't save these when I saved it as a PDF. Why? Maybe I need to save it as a JPEG. First of all, I need to work out the colors. Look how yellow it looks on there versus how orange, oh, the, the light is so bad, how orange it looks here. So I need to adjust that because it's not, it's not great. But what I'm gonna do quickly is cut it up just to check. I think, again, this color is slightly off as well. I think it's slightly over to one side. I'm just, I'm gonna just have a little fiddle around with it, fiddle around with the colours and then I'll print again and I'll get back to you. God, the, this is, it's just getting used to things, but this, it looks nice, I'm happy with the quality of it and I can see the details in everything. It's just, I want it more yellow than I do orange. Interesting experiment has just happened. So I've changed, because I wasn't really getting any over the colour, I decided to see what the green printed like, because I was just getting a whole load of different oranges rather than yellows, but then I had a thought. This setting is printer manages colours. This setting is Photoshop managing colours. And it looks more real to what I'm seeing on my screen. So I'm going to go back to my yellow border, Photoshop manages colours, and see if that gives me what I want. Because I was getting these yellow. I mean, they look fine, but it's not the colours that I'm producing. Like, that is the colour I'm producing. Let's try Photoshop manages colours. We will get there, guys. We will get there. Here we go, pray for the colours. Okay, that looks better. Wow, see the difference in the... <laughs> that is what it looks like on my screen versus that is what I was getting. Okay, so now we know. Photoshop manages colours, printer manages colours. This is the difference um, in what we're looking at. Now we can make it back into another sheet like this so that they come out. It's a lot of thinner card, but because it's a free thank you note, you know, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, all right, we're good, let's go. I've printed so many of these things now that I feel like I'm losing my marbles. I've been trying to get the, the text straight on the back and I've just hopefully got it right. Oh, at last. <laughs> I kept adjusting the text and it kept just sitting wrong every single time. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be perfect i like it to be perfect even but sometimes even when you get stuff back from printers it's not perfect so i don't know why i place such high expectations on myself right it's now half past four i'm going to cut these up i'm going to pack those orders because i really need to take them to the post box tonight um i might just print one more sheet or a few more sheets of these <laughs> just why whilst I actually have the inclination and the settings right. Also need to save this document as well, um, and then I'll print some more. It's got so bloody dark all of a sudden. Um, I am just about to start wrapping my orders now that I've spent ages doing that. I'm really happy with how they look. Um, the 260 GSM card is okay. It's okay for this sort of stuff. Um, 
I normally get 300 GSM for my thank you cards, but I've got a load of this, um, so I will use the 300 GSM on my greeting cards, so like this little guy here, which I'm about to send off to Holly, who ordered, um, who ordered him. Um, so I'm going to send him off, and he's a lot thicker. Um, these, it's only 40 GSM difference, but it's a little bit flimsier, but it's okay. They're thank you cards to pop in the parcel and probably most people maybe throw them away. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this Mother's Day card. If you haven't seen these guys, um, these are my cat Mother's Day cards that come in three different colours, black and white and ginger, and they just say happy Mother's Day from your favourite child. Um, so obviously it could be from the cat or it could be from you um, as the favourite child. So I'm gonna send this one to Holly on Etsy. Thank you, Holly. I'm sure you're probably not watching this vlog, but you might be, like who knows. So I'm going to wrap that up now, then I'm going to go into my website and wrap those orders. Then I really want to make dinner. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to check the weather later, but tomorrow morning's meant to not rain. So I might be able to walk to the gym and train and then walk back via Costa, pick up a coffee. That would be great. Actually, there's a small business there that I prefer um, called, is it called Kofo? I think it's called Kofo. Um, which is right at the top of a hill I walk up from the gym and it's like perfectly placed at the top of this massive hill that I'm always knackered by the time I get in there, so they, they get the best version of me, they get the sweatiest, most disgusting version of me, post-workout, post-walking up this really long, huge hill, and I'm like, can I have a coffee? Um, I'm kind of ready for iced coffees now, don't know about anyone else. Right, waffling, done. Um, let's wrap this order. It's so dark in here, this camera is just not doing it weird, we're not doing it justice, but I'm just about to wrap this order, I want to say thank you to Emma, Emma's ordered a Mother's Day card and also a bookmark, um, and this bookmark is really cute and it's one of my favourites because I'm absolutely currently absolutely obsessed with red and pink, um, and I love the back of this with the red tassel, it's really cute. Okay guys, today is Monday. Um, this vlog really needs to come to a bit of a stop because I've realised I actually have a lot of footage for it now. Hopefully I don't need to keep doing a caveat about this, but obviously while life is a little bit complicated, I am doing what I can, where I can, in terms of vlogging, but I really want to do it because it's, it's real life. And this, you know, life throws us heaps of lemons sometimes and we just have to do our best so today is the first official start date of my course so what i need to do today because my first call is tonight and tonight of well today at four what day is it now what time is it now it's three o'clock so at four o'clock today my first batch of lessons gets released and this week is all about illustrator for surface pattern design um this is a whole new kettle of fish for me i, I know this much about illustrator and there's like this much to know um so what I'm going to do, even though I only put this board of inspiration up recently, I'm going to take it down, roll it up, pop it in the corner of my office, and I'm going to create a board that's all about inspiration for the subject matter that I want to start creating patterns around for this course. So Bonnie talks about, Bonnie Christine is the lady who runs this course, and she talks about create before consume. So if you are a business owner or a designer or an artist or anything creative, whether it's music or art or whatever it is, you'll know the dangers of looking at other people's work when you're looking for new inspiration because you then either get massive imposter syndrome where you're thinking, oh my God, everybody's better than me. I don't have any ideas that are original. And I still think it's healthy to look at other people's work, but I think it can influence you. And I think sometimes you can inadvertently create things that look like other people's without even actually realizing it. Almost like subconsciously absorb things. And sometimes we draw from those things and we don't realize that they're actually not our own. So right now, I'm gonna take that down. I'm gonna go through, I've got a box of old artwork somewhere and I want to pick out the things that I feel might lend themselves quite well to, even if I don't end up doing them directly but they might feed into the ideas I have for this pattern design course. I don't know at this point because I haven't done the call yet how much they want us to actually do at this point but I feel like I want to take that down, that's kind of served its purpose for now and just put up something that is more me. I'm going to print off some photographs I've got on my phone because I've got loads of photographs of nature stuff on my phone. I want to dig out some old artwork which I um 
have done over the years and whilst a lot of it might not look like it goes together it's mine and it's original from me so I want to pull that out and pop up a different kind of wall up there we'll come back to you when that wall is different and that's how we'll close the vlog and then when I start the new vlog we can talk a bit more about how I'm getting on and this I, I imagine that this first week is going to blow my mind a bit it's a lot of work at a time where life is the most crazy it has ever been and the most emotional most stressful so it's all good we'll just do what we can um, I don't have to do it in real time I can study this as and when I want to so if life gets too crazy I can drop back a bit but I'd rather not I want to do the eight weeks kind of live with everyone else and so that I feel like I am getting somewhere I'm gonna work on that wall and I'll show you the finished outcome and then we'll close this vlog down it's the next day now guys it took me a little bit longer to sort out this stuff than I thought it would so this board is going to be ever-changing and what I've done basically is pulled together old artwork and some obviously some reference photos that I've taken myself and then these two bits on the end this is all part of the of the course um, and you get like a little sticker when you complete the modules and then you can mark off um, every day that you do something and the idea is to do something every day that moves you further towards the goal of the course whatever the goal is everyone's got different goals for the course uh, so I part of the course is to find your sort of signature style and where I'm struggling a little bit is I feel like I have two different styles so I have the style that I use for like my patterns on my notebooks which is a lot of sort of flatter like these and you'll recognize these um, elements from my leaf notebook so from this collection that's all of the artwork that went into this collection so I have those but then I also have these style of um, these are watercolors and I am absolutely in love with ferns as you probably know um, but they're a whole different kind of painting style to what I do for my stationery because I don't want personally I don't want my stationery having this sort of stuff on it I use this for wedding invitations by the way this is what that is from in fact I'll try and find one to show you now here's an example here of a wedding invitation that's got that painting on it and then when I turn it over it's got that painting on it um, so yeah I I do miss doing wedding station actually I have a whole drawer of samples from when I used to do it down here I'm not ready to get you rid of that those yet unfortunately <laughs> but yeah that's that's the style that I was using for weddings so I put them all up because I think it's important to work through things and then just some other ideas that I've written down and put up there and photographs and stuff. So that is the board ready for the course. I had my first call last night with the course. It was like a introduction opening ceremony um, is what they called it. It was very grand. No, it was really good though, really amazing. And I'm looking forward to getting started on it. The timing of all this is terrible. Um, if I'd have known that the world was gonna be, or our world partic particularly was gonna be like it is now, it's not the best timing for this course, but she only runs it once a year and I really need to get things moving. Sales at the moment are so bad. I've seen three businesses that I've been following for years have emailed people their list to say they're closing. It's really, really hard out there. And so I'm trying to set myself up for something that could potentially be another arm to my business. Um, I feel quite sad today about everything. Um, I feel sad actually opening that drawer of wedding inv invitations and stuff that I've created that didn't get to take off because of Covid and um, but I'm happy with what I've what I've done since it's just sales are really bad right now and I think all business owners are suffering um, so yeah but it'll be okay I felt like this before and you know you climb out the other side of it and it's all okay so you know you're here to follow the highs and lows this is real life as I always say this is real life and um, you know, I don't just want to make videos that are all like happy and joyful and look at how many sales I've got because that isn't realistic. Right, I'm going to end this vlog here. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this channel a follow if you like these sort of vlogs. Tell your friends. Um, tell the world. <laughs> um, if you have the capabilities, skywrite it. That would be great. Am I asking too much? Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.